Hello, Namaste to all singers and welcome you all to the my healing channel and as you guys know that I have started a question and answer series and in this video I will be taking questions of the parents which they have sent me long time that nowadays a very young kid at age of maybe one and a half, two, three or five they are not behaving and they are not listening to our parents and being a parent we need to discipline our kids and also we need to control our kids when it is required and needed we should not be giving control of a parenthood to a kids because most of the time we have seen that kids are controlling the parents and not the parents and why this is happening nowadays and i am going to share a few real examples so that you guys will understand that why it is very important being a parent to discipline our kids and to control them when it is required and also to say no when we have to because most of the time most parents do not say no to their kids and also i will give an example to make you understand that why it is needed to say no when we have to. So nowadays we have seen that our very young kids are not behaving or listening to their parents, right? And they are very stubborn and sometimes they just demand for things or something what they want. And if they are not able to get, they make a big chaos in the house and everybody in the house get irritated, frustrated and they do not know what to do. And in the end, the child get whatever he or she wants, right? And why this happened or why this is occurring nowadays? Because ever since the child is very young, the parents never discipline them. The moment they start understanding us, at that time, it is very important to discipline our kids from the very young age. Because when we do not discipline our kids at young age, that becomes a habit for them. I would like to share a few examples with you and you will understand why it is very important. I will give an example of my own son. When he was five years old, and you know it is a law in my house that whatever food I make, everybody has to eat it. I make the food what they like it, but certain days what I make, everybody has to eat. Um, he was very young at that time, and you know being a child, he always liked to eat certain foods, and he doesn't want to eat certain foods. So one day, uh, he knew that I have made this food and he just refused to eat so our other parent will do okay if there is another mom they, and the child is five years old right the mom will say okay you know because my child is very young let me make whatever my child wants no you do not have to do that because I have given a choice to my son that either you eat what I have made or you start hungry and he just choose not to eat so I have told him that if you are not going to eat what I have made, you are going to starve hungry throughout the night. And he decided he didn't want to eat, right? So I didn't feed him, I didn't give him anything, I even didn't make nothing for him. And he went to bed hungry, right? So I mean, of course, you guys will be thinking, oh my God, look at the mom, you know, like how she could do this to her own son. But wait a minute, here comes the discipline. Because if I would make something for him he would form a habit and every time if he did not want to eat he would make a big chaos and he knows that okay now i don't want to eat so my mom is going to make something what i like right and this is not good habit because when we go to someone's home right and they will make certain food which your child doesn't eat at home what they are going to make another food for your child or your child is going to start hungry Think about it because when we go to someone's home right they have taken a lot of time to prepare the food and if you go and say oh my child doesn't eat this thing um, can you just make another item or another thing for the child 
think about it, if you would be in that place, how we would feel? And being a parent, we need to teach our child to eat each and every day. Okay, sometimes they do not like to eat certain things, that's fine. Some days are good, but when you go to some home, right? We need to teach our kids. And there is a law in my house that if you go to someone's home, you like it, don't like it, you eat at that time. Now, it's a different story because they, my kids are, you know, like now young, so sometimes don't want to eat and my child, like my son makes his own food, so that's fine. Still being a mom, you know, like it does not matter. My kid is, uh, my son is 13 and my daughter is 16. And still, sometimes they make, a, you know, big fist up or nothing, especially my son. My daughter doesn't like it, but she will eat whatever is there. But my son is a foodie and sometimes he make, you know, like uh, big chaos when he don't want to eat and I just say, okay, if you don't want to eat, do not eat. But I'm not going to allow you to make any food today since he loves cooking. So being a parent, we need to teach our kids and we need to discipline our kids. I have seen that, you know, like uh, kids at early age, maybe five, maybe six, they start controlling their parent and I will share an example with you. It's a real example. There's this kid uh, was the only child and this child was born after so many years of marriage, right? So obviously the parents and the grandparents are going to pamper and of course it's been loved by the parents and grandparents. So it's going to be over pampered. So this child used to control parents. Yes, this child is to control parents. So how? So if they are going in a car and the child says, okay, I want to go in the rickshaw. So the parent has to park car somewhere and they will go in rickshaw, right? If they are driving by and there is a bakery, so the child will say, okay, stop here now. We want to eat these pastries. I want to eat certain cookies. What happened? Parents will say, okay, you know, like since you want to eat, they will park the car uh, and they will just uh, go and get whatever the child wants. But tell me, is this a good habit? Right, being a parent? No, because this child is being given control. This child is being fulfilled all the wishes by the parent whenever and however the child wants, right? So what's going to happen when this child starts growing younger and older? He or she will start asking for the things which the parents might not can afford. But since they have been pampered, since they have been given everything to this child, they will make each and everything to give this child. And I'm not saying that if you can afford it, of course you can give it to your child, but you need to make you understand your child how important is the money. And also they need to understand the value of money. But small, small things is been not taken care of when they are young, you know, and when they go to adulthood, this become a very big problem for most of the parents. And they try to control their kids when they are, are teenagers. And believe me, when they are teenagers, you won't be able to discipline them and you won't be able to control them. So being a parent, we need to start controlling our child when they are very young, when they start understanding things. I would like to share another example that this child was born after a long period of marriage. So of course, you know, like um, the child was being very pampered, right? And being this was the only child, you know, like they would fulfill all the wishes, whatever she wants. Yes, when she comes from the school, she will put her bag uh, outside so the parent will bring the bank inside and then she would just sit down and play her phone yes she would be on her phone and nobody can say no you do not play your phone she would play as much as she would love and she wants to play also this girl has the password of her parents and her grandparents but neither the grandparents nor the parents knew the password of this girl Think about it, five, six year old girl. She is having password of the phone of her parents and grandparents, but the parents or grandparents do not have the password of her phone. And tell me, this it is good or it is healthy 
or even it is a protein no right also this child was so much pampered and so much spoiled by the grandparents and the parents that if the child wants something if she wants to go outside or if she wants to just play with them and if they are watching tv she would turn off the tv and she won't let them watch their shows why because she wanted something she wants them to fulfill her wish because she wants them to play with her and there were the discipline comes that we need to discipline our child and we need to teach our child that okay we'll play with you but let us finish this show and definitely we'll play with you we'll give you this thing once we are done with the show but here parents make a mistake and they think okay she's been very young so you know let go and fulfill her wish no you have to stop doing that also when this child or when this kid will grow up he or she is going to have a lot of problems in their life why because they are never been told no from the parents and they get everything what they want so when they grow into adult right or maybe they are in the college and they ask their friends about something or maybe they ask their friends to go for a party and the friends refuse it what's going to happen because they are not being used to listen to no they are going to get so angry so frustrated that they will come home and then they will create a big chaos in the house and all these parents will have to go through because they never discipline the child when they need to be disciplined i would like to share my own kid example that my son was very young and you know like he's been very naughty and he won't listen very rarely he get complaints from the school but sometimes he is not listening i still remember one time that he was not listening and behaving so what so we put him outside the room in the corridor and he slept there throughout the night because he didn't listen to us and he was not behaving so now i would like to share an example of my own case which will make you understand that why it is very important to discipline our kids and at early age why it matters so i still remember that my daughter was two and a half year old and me and her went to a store and i actually do not remember but when we were leaving the store she started whining up and crying because she wanted something from the store and i told her that i am not going to buy you this time maybe if you behave maybe if you listen next time will come and catch you this time and she was not listening and you know like she was struggling to come out of the store anyway we came out of the store and i put everything in, um, in my car what i have bought from the store but she refused to sit in the car and she was two and a half year old i told her that let's go home and you know like we'll catch next time but this time i'm not going to buy why i told her this because she needs to understand and she needs to listen to me that i have told her that i'm going to buy it next time and not at this time and we have to go home because this is time for us to go home so she refused to sit in the car and i sit in the car and i put over my car and i was just start walking and i knew that she is not going to stand there so She just stand for a few seconds and then she start running to my car. So I pull over my car and I make her sit on my car. And after sitting in the car, she started crying very loudly. And I didn't pay attention to her and I let her cry. By the time we came home, she stopped crying. And then ever since then, she started listening to me so whenever we go to store and if i say no we are not going to buy this she will listen to me that's the reason that when your child is very young you need to start saying no to them i'm not saying to say no all the time but do not say yes and do not give everything what they want because they are going to form a habit that whatever i want whatever i ask whatever i wish and my parents fulfill all my wishes and maybe some day will happen 
that they ask you for an expensive thing and you might not able to afford that thing but because you have formed a habit of giving each and everything no matter what you will try your level best even for that small thing and for your child does not matter how much expensive it is you will give it to their child and this is not healthy and good for your child also when my son was very young he was being very mischievous and very naughty i still remember that he was not listening and not behaving so one time my husband put him in the garage and he slept all night in the car yes he was very young but after that next day he start listening and do not argue and fighting back with us also one time i remember that he was being very naughty and he was not listening and not ready to listen and he was talking back and giving back answer so what happened was that he was put outside in the corridor and for the whole night he slept there but next day when my husband talked to him he understood that why he was being punished and why he was not allowed to sleep in the room at that time my in-laws were also here and of course my mother-in-law and father-in-law my son but my mother-in-law always support us when it comes to discipline my father-in-law but didn't like it but he would not say a word and this is where the parents powers came and this is where the parents need to discipline the child when it is needed and because of that my kids listen always whenever we go to anybody's home we never get any complaint from anybody and you know like everybody is very happy the way they behave the way they are disciplined and believe me this is what we need to teach our kids i have seen our parents most of the time they never say anything to their kids when they go to someone else's home and i have seen that you know like kids will start playing with the expensive things at people's home and sometimes they even broke it so kids need to be disciplined especially when you go to someone else's home you need to teach your kids not to touch anything and not to play with each and everything because i have seen that that sometimes parents are to not give their kids some toys or maybe they do not want to buy but when the kids go to another people's house and when they see this expensive toys and maybe they see something what they like they actually tell their parents that i want this and i want you to take this home but it is not good habit or it is not even healthy believe me um, i have my family over here where the kids are of the same age and even my kids used to go to someone's home and they like any toy what we say that okay you can play with this toy but we cannot take it because when you come next time you will need something to play and you can play with this toy even somebody comes to my home and the kids are in the same thing i would tell to the kids and the kids would understand neither the parents would uh, ask for the toy neither the kids would ask for the toy so being a parents it's us who has to discipline our kids it is us who has to teach our kids that what is right and what is wrong what is good and what is bad and ever since they are child ever since they start understanding we need to start discipline right away and of course parents who can afford to give everything to the child i'm not saying no but you need to teach your kids the value of the things the value of the money also and i have teach my kids ever since when they were young i would like to share an example that um, we have put my kids in this private school and i think it was the first year of the school so the school have uniform they have uniform but they do not have a uniform for the so so you can wear whatever shoes you want whichever brand you want right at the time there was a friend of mine and they have own two restaurant and her daughter and my daughter were in the same class so um, since it was winter time and there is a company called all over here and it's a very expensive suit but they are very comfortable and they are very cozy and they were very warm i still remember that my daughter come to me and she told me that 
her friend has his friend Sue's and she asked me that mom can I have this shoe at that time our financial condition was not good so I explained it to her I made her sit down and I talked to her and I told her that you know that her mom is my friend right and you also know that her mom always carry expensive brands purses bags and she also wear brand name shoes and clothes right so i told her that did you ever see me going and getting whatever she is carrying the name brand bags or the name brand clothes even i told her that look at this shoe which i'm wearing it's been six seven years i'm wearing this shoes and i told her that you're very lucky that you have shoes because there are so many kids who do not even have a flip flop also so i make her understand and she understand it and believe me even in today's day if we go for shopping she always look at the price and get the things she never ever spend more money even though i tell her to take it she just say no mom it is expensive it is better we go and get something cheaper so this is where the parent has to control this is where we have to teach our kids even i remember that my kids were very young and at the school they provide vegetarian lunch and I allow them to buy once a week but since our financial situation is not good I explain it to them that because we cannot afford it please take um, food from the home and they understood they were very young right but being a parent it is our responsibility to teach our kids and to talk to them and believe me when you will talk and make them understand Definitely they will eat. I still remember a few years ago when we went to a restaurant and my son refuses to eat there. You know, like um, we asked, we have given him choice and he said, I don't want to eat. And he was very young, six or seven years back. So, you know, like we had dinner and he came home and he made his own sandwich at home. But being a parent, me and my husband didn't, you know, like uh, took him to another restaurant or even asked him that okay you know like what you want even I didn't ask him when he come home that do you want me to make something because we told him that if you do not eat over here you are not going to get any food at home if you wish you can make your own food so he came home and he made his own great sandwich so now most of you must think oh my god what kind of parents they are you know like this is not done or you know he's been a child but yes he's been a child but we need to make him understand he needs to understand that when we go to a restaurant and you like it doesn't like it there are so many varieties of food so you can have whatever you like and if you do not want to eat there you can come home and make your own food i have teach my kids ever since they were young so you know like being a parent it is our responsibility to teach our kids and to tell them what is right and what is not and i know my son and i know him so well because most of the time he keeps on annoying so many you know like kids and sometimes he just make fun out of them so sometimes when the kids come over and they are playing and if i get complain or he'll come and complain to me i would ask him first that tell me exactly what you have done first that's the reason that another kid has misbehaved or that kid has said something to you because i know my kids so well that's the reason i always question him first before he says something to me so being a parent it is our responsibility if we know that our kid is creating a problem for others our kid is doing something to the kids where the problem creates you do not always support your kid and you do not overlook this thing because if you start overlooking this thing you do not know tomorrow what your kids are going to be and i will give an example legal example that there was a kid and he was very naughty very mischievous and he would do so many naughty things and pranks on other people even the adult but the parents would never say no to him or they never ever stopped him and one day it was happened that they were playing hide and seek and there was a key you know like in india there was an apartment you know big building so what happened was they were playing hide and seek and he saw that this kid went into this water tank so this kid went and locked the water tank and he just went home 
so by the time you know it was evening time and night time and everybody started looking for this key but this key didn't even told that his friend he locked into this water tank next day when they searched everywhere they found a dead body of another key from a water tank so this is very very serious guys that if you know your kids are being mischievous if you know your kids are being naughty please stop them and make them understand because sometimes you also do not know the problems they are going to face or because of them you will be in the problem one day i am not saying that my kids are all bad you know like they are very studious i mean i'm not saying that my kids always listen sometimes they have their own um, time and own bad time but uh, still at that time i explain it to them in a nicer way and they understand it now my son is going to be 14 and my daughter is going to be 17 but believe me ever since childhood we have taught them and we have disciplined them so ever since uh, my children were very young we have disciplined our kids and also we have taught them to behave good and behave well with everybody my son is kind of you know like a little bit mischievous and little bit naughty of course uh, he has changed a lot but still sometimes you know like he misbehave with other kids and he gets in the problem and that where i always tell him that please do not do such things i explain it to him so many times and he has changed a lot i would like to share an example that few years back um, i wasn't there but my husband took my son and my nephew and my niece and they went off for a body and i wasn't there so i don't know exactly what happened so because my son is always, you know, like uh, annoying to other people at that time, even though it was not his mistake, my husband put him in time out and uh, he has to listen to my husband because there's no choice, right? So in the evening time, I came back um, and then my kids came back. But for the first time, my daughter came to me and she told me that, Mom, today it wasn't my son's fault, but still that put him in time out. So at that time, I didn't say anything, but I make them both sit down together and I explained to my son that, see, this is the consequences happened. Even though today it was not your fault, but because you always go and create problems for your people, that's why your dad thought it was your mistake and not other person's mistake. So instead of taking side of my child, I have explained to him that why he was being held responsible for certain actions even though it was not his mistake and here guys i would request to all the parents that please if your child is misbehaving if your child is mistreated to another person and if there is an issue please guys address to your kids and talk and make them understand i have also seen sometimes kids fight and in that fight parents involve themselves and you know the relations get spoiled so please guys, if your kids are fighting with other kids, you being an adult, do not fight. You try to resolve the issues and you try to learn that from them. Because they are child, they are fight, they will fight and but after certain times they are going to come back and play together. So I hope you guys like this video and I hope I'm able to make you understand that how important it is for a parent to discipline our kids and to control our kids. So I hope you guys like this video. Thank you guys for coming and watching this video. To all my subscribers, people who are helping me to make this video, and people who inspire me, thank you all of you. So till I see you next time, I see you in the photo. Take care, leave a love, light and enjoy presence. Namaste.